here in the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fusov. I am entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. This is my channel. And today I got inspiration from a video which is was done by American, not scientist, but person exterminator. Yes, wasps in exterminator because he is making wasp removal in the United States of America. And his video was named European Hornets being fed with a needle during the wasp nest observation. Well, and I decided to feed my hornets, my wasps, with a needle, with a sugar syrup. And so I did the same experiment as he proposed to do because he was doing feeding of these wasps and they were sitting on the comb. Well, everything in a science can be repeated, but with a very careful precaution. Of course, that's why I decided I have some wasps. I have some males, and I have many males. And I showed you already many of them, because they are sitting here and they are very careful, and actually they are not dangerous at all. But I have also queens, yes, I have also queens, and they just hatched, and we were sitting here. I put them in, in this glass jar, and just now I will feed this larvae and these hornets just with this needle. Yes, with a syringe, to be precise, not with a needle. Where the needle is here and syringe, I fill it with fill it with honey syrup. Yes, I already did it. I gave a little bit honey syrup for my larvae, not for my larvae, for for hornet's larvae. And so they just accept it very well. And now just I show you how hornets, how queens will do it when I will try to feed them. So I put them here. So you can recognize that these are queens. Yes, these are queens. I dropped some honey on the cells, so they already immediately recognize it. And we started to search for honey. For precaution I have this lead. Okay. Yes, and we do it. And last time I tried to feed one queen with the sugar syrup, but she was not very active. I don't know why. I tried to propose here some syrup but she didn't like it. No, the syrup, actually this is a honey liquid. Honey liquid. I had a water. Honey, and I mix it. So they are communicating all together between them, and I try to show them in a close distance. Yes. Not me, but them. So now you can see them without montage or without any montage, just directly how we are doing. This one is feeding on honey, and another one is more active 
and doesn't work it. One is not making even ignorance. And one is disappeared somewhere. I hope so not disappeared, but sitting somewhere under the comp. Yeah. Yeah, this one is most active. Trying to steal the honey from Larry. For that I didn't drop in honey. You like it. Like it. Come, come, come on. Syringe is very convenient because more convenient to manipulate with a drop of honey. If I use a pipette, pipette is dropping honey very quickly. And this one is just slowly. Drop by drop. Here we can share it between larvae and adult. Larvae probably will want water as well. Because we are thirsty. We are hungry and thirsty. We are hungry because we didn't get any food for three days. At least we really received some honey liquid. I hope so. It will be good for them as well. Yes. You can recognize the queen is feeding on honey syrup. She's not very fast. She's moving slowly. At least you can recognize that do not make any aggression or activities for moving around, for flying around actually. Because I must be careful if she will escape, will be not a good situation for sure. Because stung to be stung, it's different than being fed. Being stung by hornet queen, it's not a good idea. Yes, you see, you see, sipping, sipping honey and communicating with Larry. Yes, yes, the drop of honey easily disappearing very quickly. Come, come, come. Come, come, you can see a drop of honey and we have also here many caps, capped cells and one is here with uh, some holes, one new queen is trying to image as well. One queen stopped here, cleaning, making a grooming. Definitely it's not a good idea to take women in hand, so that's why I won't try it, but at least you recognize that it's easy to feed them if you know their behavior. So we can be quiet in certain situation. And the certain situation is that they are very young. When these queens were very young, they are not aggressive, they are quiet, not so fast, moving more or less slowly and trying to escape 
for only the light, because light here is strong. And in normal situation, already old queens will try to fly to the light. And these young queens were more or less quiet and do not try to fly at least. And it's a good because we do not need to catch them and to be very careful. And at least and in this situation we are not aggressive. This queen is walking around. Even don't pay attention to my no 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 pay attention to my honey. I give here some drops of larvae. drop of honey just on body. She's trying to clean, but she is hairy, so honey doesn't attach. To the body. She's grooming. Come, come here. Show your face. Show your face. Here yeah, I use a lamp. This is not light magnet. Light, not sunny light, not so good, but more or less good, I guess. So you recognize this behavior, Hornet. Finally, probably I need to put them back so you can see how I can do it. Mm, maybe not very polite way, but I will try to be very careful. Okay, for this queen, this queen has some damages. Wings. You see some damages for wings, so she cannot fly as well. Yeah, for young queens, possible even to take them by forces. We are not so aggressive. Of course, we can try to be aggressive on my forceps and try to sting them. But I must be very careful to keep it in my hands. At least they do not fly. So, these are horns, and this is my place for the communication with them. So far so good. Thank you for watching. I guess it was interesting and quite entertaining for you to see hornets here. Just directly in this cage and I am just nearby of them as well. Thank you for watching. Press like write your comments and ask your questions. Bye bye and do not try to repeat it because if you don't know behavior it is dangerous and everyone must be very careful. Thank you for watching. And I will put them in the cage. Of course we can use them 
for another observation later. Okay, one by one. Let's see how I can do it. Take this one. Trying to escape and trying to sting my forceps as well. Better to escape under the comb, only inside the comb. Well, anyway, just I put it in a glass jar. One. And this is second one. And this is a queen, so you can recognize this is a queen, this is not a male, this is a real queen. Yeah. already inside the cage. Okay, and we have two more here somewhere under the comb. Because we escaped. Yeah, she's sitting here. And one more is somewhere here. Again, we need to check. Take this one out. And yes, number four is sitting here nearby. So, because we had a four queens, and number four is sitting here. Come, come, come. Aggressive, I'm aggressive. Yes, yeah, just running, just running. If you are not aggressive, I'm stronger than you in this case. Come, come, come. No, 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 I don't like if you try. To go on my forceps. Okay, finally I show you this one because energy power is coming out. Thank you for watching. Press likes, write your comments and ask your questions. And looking forward to see you subscribe on my channel. And I put them in another cage just for security, to be careful about them. And this is a queen of European hornet, Vespa Crabro, which just hatched recently. This queen is a big one, about 4 centimeters, and a real one. So you can see, a sting can come. Big wings, big mandibula, antenna, and strong face. I guess it looks amazing. Fabulous. Really. Yeah. This is the biggest magnification.
the size of a head about six seven millimeters big one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye and see you soon on my channel. Let's wait for continuation and continuation is coming. Bye bye. Yeah.